Good morning students, my name is Mr. Silvino. I'm an English teacher at Jacob Marengo Secondary School. Today we are going to discuss a topic related to report writing. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we need to know the definition of a report. A report is a spoken or written account of something that one has observed, heard, done or investigated. And we can go to another definition. We can simply say that a report is a piece of information uh, that is unsupported uh, by a form of evidence. And for us to write a report, we need to follow some hints. We need to stick to the facts and also answer the WH questions. Which ones are the WH questions? The WH questions are the who, the what, the where, the when, the why, and the how. In other words, we need to know what happened, okay? Where did it happen? Why did it happen? How did it happen? And when did it happen, in short? So, for us, when we are in, for example, an accident, or when we are witnesses of an, ex an accident or a crime, we need to know what happened, where it happened, why it happened, and also how it happened. And there are different types of reports. We have a crime report, we have an accident report, we have a social event report, as well as a newspaper report. And when writing a report, we need to stick to some rules. We need to write a report. Since it's, since it's a report, it means that it's something that has happened in the past. Therefore, we need to write a report in the past tense. And it becomes easy. In other words, we should write all our verbs in the past tense. And the second point is that we should write in an indirect speech. In other words, since it's a report, we should, and we are reporting something that has happened in the past, we should write in reported speech. Thirdly, we need to explain all the facts in chronological order. What does it mean? It means that all the, all the things that we are explaining should be logically explained, or it should be logically explained on how things happened. And the fourth point is that we, we, we should use time connectives. What does that mean? It means that we should start with a first, what happened first, and then what came then, what came next, what came afterwards, and we should finish with at last what happened. And we should also use concise language. What does that mean? It means that we should use a few words and our report should be brief and very comprehensive. The next point is that we should be objective and accurate. In other words, we should go straight to the point. And lastly, we should give all the facts, but not our own opinion. And seeing that a report is a written work, we use a marking grid. Who should use a marking grid? The students while writing a report and the teacher while marking the report. Why should we use a marking grid? The marking grid will guide you to know if you are paragraphing properly, if your punctuation is well placed, or if you are making or not making spelling mistakes. That will help you as a student to write your report properly, without mistakes, without errors, without punctuation failures, and without spelling mistakes, and will also help us as teachers to mark your essay or your report accordingly. Okay, and I'll leave you guys with a food for thought before I go to the activity. We've noticed that students, when writing written work, essay, narrative essay, argumentative essay, report, or summarizing, you usually make confusions with the words than and then, okay? You should know that then and then are homophones. What are homophones? 
Homophones are words that sound the same but have different spellings as you can see and different meanings. Another important uh, point that you should know is that than is a conjunction or it may be a preposition, okay? Whereas then is an adverb or it can also be an adjective. Okay, so how are we going to differentiate between the words than and then? Okay, we should know that than is used for comparison. Example, Silvino runs faster than John. Okay, so we are using than to compare that Silvino runs faster than John. So than is used for comparison, whereas then is used for time, okay? It indicates a time or a sequential time. Example, I first poured juice and then I ate my food. Okay, so it's a time sequence. Firstly, you pour the juice in the cup and then you poured or you ate your food. So let us avoid making these mistakes and we usually notice that students make a lot of mistakes when using done instead of then. Okay, let us go back to our activity. Seeing that now we know what the report is, we know the hints, we know how to follow, which steps to follow, we should also know that when writing a report, you are given a topic. So when writing, you start with a topic. After writing the topic or the title, move on to your introduction after the introduction give a body and always end with a conclusion all right in the beginning we spoke that there are different types of, of, of reports a crime an accident a social event or a newspaper report imagine that you are told to write a crime report okay you may use it in an imaginary way for example silvino and john attended a, a social event at Safari Hotel and while they were leaving they encountered a break in a car on the parking lot and you saw two thieves breaking in a car the thieves when they saw you they ran away and you decided to call a police I mean the police so I would like you guys to write a report of 150 words on what happened, where did it happen, how did it happen, why did it happen, and also if you called the, 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 the police or not, and also what was the action taken by the police when they arrived on the scene. And also don't forget to mention the characters that were involved in the report. This will be Silvino and John who left the social event at Safari Court Hotel to go to the parking lot when they encountered the two thieves that were trying to break in a car. That's all for today and uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.